exercise 6.2 resolve the following forces so if we've got 20 kilonewtons acting at 30 degrees from the horizontal so what we're saying here is we've got 30 degrees and we've got 20 kilonewtons going in that direction so fx is going to be 20 cos 30 so 20 times cos 30 10 root 3 is 17.32 newtons fy is going to be 20 sine 30 or I could have done cos 60. Let's go back, delete that, and insert a sign instead. And we get the answer 10 newtons. Part B. There's 15, and it's acting 125 degrees from the horizontal. So that's 90 up there. So 125 is about around about here. So one, two, five degrees. My force is moving off in this way, and it's at 15. Uh, let's work out what this angle here is. So 180 take away one, two, five is 55 degrees from there to there. Okay. Uh, so I'm now going to ignore the one, two, five and use my 55. Um, like the acute angle. So first of all, fx, we we'll define x to be going positive that way, y to be going positive that way, so we we'll take that to be a negative. So it's 15 cos 55 degrees. Make sure we're degrees in these. So we've got 15 times cos 55. So that equals 8.6, uh, we'll do free sig fig, uh, 0. Y is going in the correct direction, it's going upwards. So if this, uh, if this direction here is 55, so this angle here is going to be what? Well, let's work that out. So 90 take away 55 is 35. So this angle here going to be 35 degrees. Okay, so this this is an example where I want to be using cos twice. So we've got 35 cos 35 degrees. Whoops. Let's see I'm mentally losing it. Fift we've got 15 times cos 35. <sighs> Long summer. Right, so 15 times cos 35 so that gives me 12 point uh, we'll do 3 sig fig 12 point 3 newtons ok so what I'll do what I've worked to 3 sig fig 